so I'm from Australia and my parents are from Hong Kong. And yeah, when I started going out to schools with robots to teach girls how to build and program them, I never thought that it would bring me to the UN in New York. Uh, I mean, I just thought, this is really cool how I can make a difference to the number of girls in my class. There were five of us out of 50 in mechatronics engineering and computer science. Uh, when I went to Imperial College in London, there were 15 girls out of 150 in, in mechanical engineering. There were four girls out of 120 in computer science, two girls out of 70 in aerospace engineering. And I thought, you know, I, I'd gone out to schools in Melbourne and, and we, we taught girls robotics over there. Maybe, you know, London needs something like this <laughs> because there's clearly no girls in my engineering class. And no one showed up to the first RoboGals meeting, so I cried. <laughs> and set up another one, and no one showed up again, so I cried again. But I cried after like less time because I'd kind of got the hang of, you know, not having anyone show up. But then for the third meeting, I emailed everyone and I said, we had a really productive meeting. When, when are you free again? And four people showed up to the third meeting. And I used that to get more people involved. And by the time I left my year of exchange at Imperial, I managed to find a group of people who went on to spearhead the initiative there. And uh, yeah, while I was in London, I noticed that a lot of student organizations were national and not just in one place because the UK is so tiny and it's really easy for people to travel and meet with other people interested in similar things. You can go to Oxford or Cambridge or Birmingham or Bristol from London very easily. And I thought, I want to do the same thing in Australia. I want to make RoboGals national in Australia so we could have an even bigger impact, not just in Melbourne. So two months after I went back to Melbourne, after six months of preparation, we expanded to another four chapters in Australia and amplified our impact. And that went so well that six months later, I returned to the UK and expanded to another five chapters in the UK. And every year, we now have RoboGals chapters that meet up in, in Europe, in North America, in Asia Pacific. And we have girls from universities all over the world who meet with their peers and share, collaborate, and brainstorm new ways to get girls interested in engineering. And so when I think about being awarded this honor, uh, you know, I, I think this isn't my award really, it's, it's my organization's award. It's a, it's a work of thousands of young engineers all around the world who've worked hard to encourage the next generation. So thank you on behalf of all of them.